So yeah, um, Gordon, uh, training session tonight with the Shelburne ladies uh, after yesterday's impressive start to the season in Cork. How's the mood around the camp? The mood's really positive. Uh, Pre-season's gone exceptionally well. Um, it was a tough match yesterday. Uh, the conditions, there was a strong breeze blowing down the pitch. Um, delighted to turn around 1-0 up. The second half, we kind of consolidated, scored to uh, scored a good goal and then Alex scored a wonder goal, as, as is our want. Um, but generally the atmosphere around the club is great. Competition for places is tight and that's what we want in the club. I was like um, chatting with Perlo, she was saying like, you know, expect what you expect from the senior players. But I mean obviously there's, there's a lot of youth in the club and team as well. So kind of we're kind of but like we're spoiled for choice. We're, we're absolutely spoiled for choice. I mean we I think there are six or seven girls who are now playing with us, the old National League team that would have played with me through the years, um, 14, 15, 16, 17, that's just fantastic to see. I think the biggest benefit of the merger is that we had a well-established club in the National League and we've been able to bring our own players through. And believe me, there are players coming through every year. It's not just this year. There are players playing this year who are going to be under 18, and under 16, and under 15, and they're all aspiring to get in the club. That's what we want. I was like, um, you know, Rebecca got started yesterday from the spot. Um, but obviously then Alex and Leanne came in with the two goals short after in the second half. Um, obviously, we've worked with them for a number of seasons, so what can you say about those two players? Well, Leanne in particular, like, her pace is, is scary. Um, interestingly, it was only really in the, it's only really the last 18 months to two years that she's really come to the fore. Um, she's just, it's amazing that someone who started the season under 16 um, in a few weeks' time, we'll be going with the national team to Wales to train. That's just an amazing transformation. And Alex, I'm sure Alex would actually be there as well. Unfortunately, she got injured at the back end of last season. She only came back for the league playoff. Alex is a fantastic talent. I mean, she's the youngest player ever to play for Ireland. And uh, she's just carried it on through. And certainly when she played with myself, with the youth team, she was a uh, special talent. And obviously, like you said, like the national side were doing the business in Cork yesterday. But can you tell us what was going on in down the road in Parnells? <laughs> Another great story. Like yeah. our, uh, our, our senior side were playing against Douglas Hall in the semi-final of the Intermediate Cup, and they qualified for the final. And they played Boyne Rovers in a, in a few weeks' time in the All Ireland uh, Senior Cup final. And that's that's again it just shows the strength and depth that we have because we've probably taken four or five players from that team, and they're still successful. And then just to kind of maybe give us a, a snapshot of what you were saying, what has happened over the last season with the entire club from, say, like I said, under 15 right up to the national yeah, like side. If you, if you, even younger than that, if you go back to, under, I think, under 10s or under 11, certainly, the club entered the 23 competitions last year. And amazingly, the club won 23 competitions, uh, cups, leagues, and uh, even uh, my, my own team went over to Holland and won a competition in Holland. So it was just a remarkable season. It's all down to hard work that a lot of people have been putting in for a lot of years. Uh, obviously now between you, you, you've got a good team here between yourself, Mark, and a few others with the national side. So how has the pre-season gone for the... Yeah, pre-season has gone really well. Um, I, this is my first pre-season with the senior club. I've really enjoyed it. The, the players have been very welcoming. Um, they work very hard. Um, they listen. Technically, they're very strong. Um, I've really enjoyed it, but the, it's, uh, if you haven't seen the National League team training, it, it, sometimes it, 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 you don't know how hard they train. And when you see it I have, for the first time, it's certainly um, it's great to see, and they show a great example um, to the rest of the club. And then, kind of, um, obviously, there were a few players making their debut yesterday. Can you tell us about them? Yeah, it was, well, Kate Mooney played, uh, played centre half the whole match. Kate Mooney played her first match for me for the under-14 B team and it, she's a great story and uh, she's actually managed to get herself to the fringes of the international under-19 which is fantastic. Uh, Chloe McNamee and, and Lynn uh, Craven came on in the second half and played really well um, for the first games in the National League and of course Shauna Cook who uh, was previously with Rahini and over to Arsenal uh, and, has, and has now come back to us and her experience is fantastic. She, she's a great I am person to have around the camp as well. I think maybe like I said, um, the success of the entire club, like I said, 24 competitions, um, you know, from what, under 12 straight up to the National League. Can you give us a, what would be our hopes for the next couple of years, you know, this season and further? Like, obviously, the, uh, you, you want to consolidate. Last year, we had a great run towards the end of the season. Um, 
I think we won nine matches out of nine, we won a cup and then we fell at the last third of the league. It would be great this year to win the league but it won't be easy, um, there's, there's a few very good sides um, and I'm sure there'll be a few surprises along the way. Um, that's what success would look like this year and then we want to build in it. I mean, we have a very good squad here but I, I would expect we will continue to bring young players through as well. And obviously, I mean, obviously you know, we know all about ourselves but maybe taking a look at the opposition, who will be the main challenges to the league this season, do you reckon? I, I think, I think it, it'll probably be the problem seem much the same as last year. Um, Wexford are, are the champions and, then, and they certainly deserve uh, every respect. Um, UCD were very good last year and very unfortunate not to beat us in the cup final. I, 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 we struggled against Galway, we lost 3-0 to Galway here. Um, and Piemont seem to have recruited a few players and I'm sure we'll have our challenges against Piemont. But there are no easy games in this league and I think um, you have to treat every team with respect. Cork, um, twice we've been down there and twice we've really struggled, including yesterday. But so, um, obviously, we've been under a couple of weeks before our next competitive game with League Cup and Boyles. So what will be you guys doing with the squad over the next yeah, few so, weeks? So we've been training this evening. Uh, we have a match on Wednesday. We're playing against a, an American team. We hope to organise a friendly for, for this weekend. Um, we have a number of players going over to Wales with the national team uh, the weekend after that. Um, so really trying to get match sharp so we can get one more game in and then make sure the training's intense. Perfect. So obviously, hope to talk to you in another couple of months with more success. But uh, best of luck for the season, Gordon. That's great. Thanks, Jay. Thank you very much.